Monsters Charity Group. We um, yeah, go around and make people smile. Our whole goal was. And how long have you been doing this? Uh, we've been doing it about three years. So the group's been together about two. Um, but yeah, we're doing a bunch of events, parades, times. Um, we're working on building an Ecto-1. You know, just drive around Baltimore and have a deep good time. So how do people join to uh, be like this? Um, it starts with a uniform. Um, you know, it, we're not strict on what the props people have, but um, everyone needs a uniform pretty much. Um, beyond that, get in touch with us on Facebook and we'll start a dialogue. My name is Roman, and I'm cosplaying Kylo Ren without the mask on. Yeah. Um, are you excited for the new Rogue One? I, I think it's going to be a cool new way to expand on the Star Wars universe with these spin-off movies, and it would be it'd be cool to see the story of uh, how the Death Star plans were stolen right before four. So it's exciting. Um, has anyone told you that you look like Adam Driver? <laughs> That's all I've been getting <laughs> <laughs> this weekend. So. <laughs> so did you make your costume or did you buy it? Um, I bought the costume, uh, did some modifications to it to make it a bit more movie accurate, but um, so yeah, I can't claim uh, total, you know, creation parts. <laughs> My name is Wang Wang. And how long have you been doing this? Uh, I've been doing this professionally for about two, three years. And um, what made you start drawing uh, like this? Chibi? Uh, I started off more as chibi because I wanted things to look more cute. And uh, it evolved more to an animated style just because I wanted to draw the female form a little better. The chibi was a little too limiting. So that's where this comes from. Do you mostly go to Baltimore Comic Con or just more? Uh, I'm from New York, so I do all the shows up and down the East Coast. I've gone as far as uh, Chicago and Orlando this, uh, later this year. I'm going to Texas. Uh, but yes, I do like Baltimore. Baltimore is one of my favorite shows. Um, and where can we find you? Uh, you can find me on Facebook or Instagram or Snapchat. Uh, it's under a Bun Bun R, B U N L E U N G A R T. Oh, she's smarter than I. <laughs> all right, thank you. Are you excited for Admiral Thrawn to return Very in the Star? Yeah. Um, what's your favorite book from uh, the Thrawn series? Well, I don't want to be cliche and say Heir to the Empire where it started all, but that's just, Timothy Zahn's a great author. I like the way he set everything up with that book, so I'm going to go with that one. So how do you uh, made your costume? Uh, this one I actually bought, but I did get custom measurements. found these online, uh, ordered this, did some research on what makeup would do well, trying to get some coverage to make it also breathe. Got some of their moves, my hair's only brown. Um, have you been to uh, Star Wars Celebration before? No, it's on my bucket list. What's your name? So, uh, my name's Brian, and recently joined the 501st, actually this year. Um, 
I've been wanting to do it for a while. It's a great organization. They do a lot of good for the community with charity events, hospital visits, and things. Plus, love Star Wars. So, uh, there's a company that actually licensed to make them from uh, LucasArts, now I guess Disney, called Anova. So, they have offered these kits starting last year. So, ended up going ahead and ordering it. Uh, came in all maybe 50, 60 different pieces. You had to cut it all out, glue it all down, uh, follow all the little instructions and things. And when you finally get it together, it started in. March finished in May, so about two month build, and you have a stormtrooper. <laughs>